And here is a look at how bad the drought is in Minnesota right now. As you can see, most of the state is under extreme or severe drought conditions. Dry fields were the topic of the conversation for Minnesota farmers this morning. Governor Tim Walz was part of a virtual call with farmers to talk about drought conditions and how they're affecting certain parts of the state. John Lortzen has been in southern Minnesota. He shows us how the dry, hot weather is changing harvest strategies. The comparison that a lot of farmers like to make is to 1988. Uh, which was a dry year. As a seventh generation farmer in Lesseur County, Tyler Sunderman believes the drought this year isn't quite as bad as 1988, but it's not far behind. And normally in soybeans, what we like to see are three and sometimes four bean pods, and there's a lot of two bean pods. Smaller pods are a sure sign of stress related to prolonged heat and lack of rainfall. Stress that's become a topic of conversation among state leaders. Our neighbors are now starting to recognize that this is unusual and it's very dry, but I think drought is a hard one to convey to them the damage that it does and the stress that it brings um, to families. And we're seeing that it's not equally spread across the state. Rainfall is about six inches below average in Lesseur County. Sunderman says dry conditions will likely cause him to begin harvesting his soybeans this month as opposed to mid-September. Weaker plants are easily broken by strong winds, so getting them out sooner than later is key. I would say this year we're probably on track for a harvest start uh, two to three weeks earlier than normal. I think this particular field we may be harvesting in August, which is generally not a good sign for yield. He believes much of the damage has already been done. The concern now is that any soil moisture that's left will be pulled in by this year's crops creating potential drought problems for next year. For the most part, we're beyond uh, the point of no return on many crops. That's farming. We have to be here for the, for the long run. It's not necessarily about this crop. It's about the next 20 or 25 crops. In Lesseur County, John Lordson, WCCO 4 News. Sunderman says it's hard to say how the drought will impact commodity prices. Minnesota and the Dakotas are often priced in with other states like Iowa, Illinois, and Indiana, where it hasn't been quite as dry.